How's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in this week to the Sportsman's Journal. Sarah and I are up at arguably one of our favorite places, Lake of the Woods, Tamarack Island. Right, we just landed, we crossed the lake, we, we uh, just parked at the dock just yep. a few minutes ago, got some of our stuff on Relaxing a little bit, got a couple beverages yeah, going. Yeah, it's always a nice take a deep breath when you get here. And then uh, we've just been kind of chatting about what right. our plan is gonna be. We're gonna start tomorrow morning early. Yep. Um, so there's a couple challenges in our way that, that we foresee, but yep. I think we can get through them. It's June, and usually second, third week of June, we have the notorious Mayfly, mayfly hatch. hatch. And that's going on right now. There yeah. are mayflies literally everywhere. Yes. So it's going to make fishing, we think, a little more difficult. There's tons of fish around Tamarack. Absolutely. But it might make it a little more difficult because they're feeding on mayflies, so there's a lot of food in the water system right now. Um, but we're going to give it our best shot. Yeah, and, and it's supposed to be a little bit windy tomorrow, right. a little bit breezier. But uh, because of where Tamarack is placed in the lake, there's tons of places that you can go not far from camp right. and still get out of the wind. So and those are kind of, of our, our two goals. Right. Yes, absolutely. So we're excited about this because we fished Tamarack in May. We fished it in July. We fished it in August and we fished it in September. Yes. And we've caught big pike. Yes. Really nice muskies. Fantastic crappies. Yes. We've caught a lot of nice fish, a lot of good walleye action. But we never fish it in June, so this will be a little bit of a learning process for us. Yeah, we're kind of hoping that we hit it uh, before the walleyes go deep to the humps. Um, right. So kind of the the post-spawn, but they're moving a little bit deeper, but before they move deep, deep yeah. to the humps. We're so. hoping we don't catch them in too big a transition. Right. We know they're going to be feeding on mayflies, so we're looking at shallow rock flats, I think is going to be our first spot we're going to look up. But hey, we're at Tamarack. We're good. Fish dense area, right? <laughs> yes, we're good. Probably the best we're gonna lake catch it was. Fish. We're going to catch fish. So everybody stay tuned. We'll be right back from beautiful Tamarack Island at a lake of the woods. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Coleman Insect Repellents. Coming up to our first spot, and Lake of the Woods is a huge body of water, so it can be a little overwhelming. Where do you want to start? What are you looking for? And right now I'm going to scan an area that's got a lot of shallow flats, and that's what you're kind of looking for right now. So I'm going to do a little side scanning here. I'm looking for big boulders. Those are key to finding where these fish are going to be relating to on the structure, but we're looking from anywhere from, since it's early in the season, they're eating mayflies, because they're everywhere, so they got to be eating mayflies. We're gonna be looking anywhere from probably seven to 11, 12 foot, 13 maybe. But you can see I'm marking some big boulders right now, right outside the boat here on my left side. And that's what we're looking for. It's a little bit deeper water, but there's a little hump that comes up here. So what we're gonna do, Sarah and I are gonna fan cast this area with the limber leeches and see if we can get a couple walleyes to start us off. But that's kind of what you're looking for. There's so much water on Lake of the Woods. It's kind of overwhelming. Like, where do you start? Mm -hmm. Where are you gonna, where are you gonna start your, your game plan? And I think that's one of the wonderful things about Lake of the Woods is that there are so many spots like what we're looking for or as the fish transition into different spots, there's, there's so much habitat that you can always find a spot and you can always find a spot that if you want to get out of the wind, you can get out of the wind. Right. Um, you know, like fish utilize the wind. We talk about fishing windblown points all the time, but um, sometimes there's just a little too much wind for us humans to handle. So we want to tuck behind something. I like the wind more than you do, that's and, for sure. Yeah, and so. And it, yeah, that's what Sarah just said is huge because the forecast today is supposed to be it's gusty to winds. Up. So we're going to see how we can do, but there's lots of big boulders here. And this is a really good start. Yeah, it looks Really promising. good starting point. Look at that out there on the left side. Just tons and tons and tons of big boulders. This could be gravy. Should we try here? Yeah. I don't think it's going to take much. It's like the woods small. Does look a little better. Feels some good. head shakes. Yeah. He kind of came up and popped it like we like to see. What do we got here? I feel like the smart thing for me to do would be get to get the net. But... Yeah, well, you could get a, a double, you never know. That's a nice walleye. Yeah. That's what we're after. It's a good start. Yes, it is. 
Um, That's I a nice get, wall. I get a really that. nice wall. He's wally. thick. I like that. I like that. Good, good way to get our get our started here off this flat that we talked about. Well, we know that uh, he's a little too big for swinging. We know they'll eat the limber leech, yeah, I guess. Look at that. Oop, right out there. Had him pinned just enough. Yeah, we know they're going to eat the limber leech, so that's part of the pattern here. That's a good fish. Good starter fish, Lake of the Woods. I like it. All right, let's get another one. Wow. That came up and just walloped it. He almost pulled the rod out of my hand. Smacked her good. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that ain't shabby. <laughs> That ain't shabby. I'm gonna net that for you. How's that? Now that fish was hungry for the limber leech. Yes, it was. There you go. Wow. Nice word. That fish just smacked. Yeah, it. the walleyes are hitting it like they're not messing Like they want to eat it. You know what I mean? Bring this bag in. There you go. I should have helped you a little more. Sorry about that. Oh yeah. No, typical. It's all right. I got it. I'll just put my hands around here. Show them off a little bit. Look at that. Tamarack's got a lot of walleyes. Uh, I tell you what, I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? I am having fun. Oh, he just tried to bite me. Did he? He sure did. Woo! That's a good one. Yeah. Walleye, walleye. It's for, what's for dinner? Not this guy, though. He gets a break. Here we go. That looks like a nice yeah, fish. Yeah, ain't too shabby. There he is. That's a nice eye. I got, I got him, huh? Okay. It's not too bad, right underneath the rig on yeah. that one. Came up and popped her though. I think I got it. I always say I got it. You know what happens? Well, you know you struggle. It gets off. Right. Right. Oh, get him. There we go. Yeah, look at that one. That's not a bad fish. Oh, pretty fish. Yeah. Let's see if I can twist them around. Hungry for the limber leech. There we go. It's a good eye. Popped it right where you're supposed to be, right in the top jaw. I had him hooked like a million bucks. Do you want the pliers? Um, no, I got it. Okay. Long and lean. Early season, post spawn, coming back up to eat. 11 foot's kind of been the, the magic spot here. Let's see if we can get another one. One of the big things we've noticed out here today fishing is we've caught a couple, couple walleyes and what they're doing is they're spitting stuff up as we bring them up to regurgitate what they've been eating. And a lot of it's been crawdads and of course, tons of mayfly larvae. And right now we got mayfly larvae floating around. We got six or seven other different kind of bug hatch, just tons of them flying around. And plus this time of year, that mid June, right before summer comes, those crawdads start to molt and they lose their shell. So they're really soft, easy. They're easy forage right now for pretty much anything that swims. And the walleyes are down there. They're in the rocks. They're pounding crawdads. They're eating mayfly larvae. They're probably eating minnows, but that's one of the big reasons why we decided to go with the Mimic Minnow Limber Leech is because that kind of matches everything. We can scoot it on the bottom really quick, it darts down there, it flutters. Obviously it looks like a leech, but it also looks like a lot of other stuff down there right now. And those fish are doing a lot of cruising around, especially when it's windy like this or down those rocks, something moves real quick next to them, it's a trigger, it's a trigger bite. So that's why we're really working it quick because it's making those fish decide, hey, there's something right there, I want to eat it. It could be a crawdad, it could be a mayfly, it could be a leech, whatever. So it's working out real well for us right now. There we go. Oh, that looks like it's yeah. been in the rod. That one the pounded it. This is a nice fish, hon. All right, I'm coming. I, was, I just made a cast, so I'm way out. I don't know how good my hook set is. I know, I'm coming. I'm trying. I'm going to come on the left side here. Of course. Of course you are. That one pounded it. Okay. About ripped the rod out of my hand. Out of chaos. And at, nothing is easy when you got wind like this. Setting the hook. Bringing a fish in, netting it. Yeah, get you know out what I mean? Here he is, here he is, here he is. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Come on. Yes, <sighs> yes, yes, yes. That is what we are after. I was nervous. I was like, there's a fish there. You can't see in the water. I know, it's I tough. Was you like, don't oh see it until the last second, but that's a dandy. He's a little wow. beat up on the one side there, but I want to show, I want to show everybody something on this fish. This is actually kind of cool. I want to show you something. This is how you know the fish are down there. They're rutting around in the rocks. They're feeding pretty close to the bottom. She's got scratches all on her head from hitting the rocks and stuff like that, going back and forth, feeding on mayfly larva. Is that not a nice fish? Wow. That is amazing. I love it. Do you have That is a dandy. Here. 
mid 20s we'll take those all day long four or five pound fish yeah awesome. look at the head on her limber leech look at that i like that's a good sight right there pop that off your jig head's got some paint on yeah, it's there. bopping those boulders down there yeah. pop off there buddy there we go yes wait hang on that's is that what we're after fish. that is that is absolutely your rod was like yeah. boom you know when you get a big one yeah those... they're in here eating mm -hmm. all right let's get her back in there this segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. It's not, yeah, no. but it's not a, it's not a huge one. It could be like fish. the same size as my last one. But it's, it's not a, not as big as your big one. No. No. Ooh, he's not showing himself. No, he's not showing himself yet. There he is. There he is. That's not a bad yeah, eye. That's the same that's size. That's a perfect, yeah, that yeah. one's a frying pan fish. Yeah. That's what uh, Tanarak offers. Big fish, eater size fish, and everything in between. And all sorts of species. Mm-hmm. They're liking that. Go down and grab him. You got you got a sharp truce tip on the tail on that. I do. Leech, right? Yeah, a little bit. Mine, I got the all black model. A little bit different color than Tyler's. That limber leech, just a little sharp truce tip on his tail. Man. Action oriented walleye fishing, and you can have a fish fry when you're done. I don't think there's any but day that's better than that. Ooh. I heard that. He, uh, that was like he came up and you could feel him like mm, pound it. to the boat. Yeah. There's a little bit of wave here. What do we got? I have not seen it yet. I have not seen it either. This little stained excitement water. Is, excitement is building. Mm -hmm. Let's just get a gander, you know? Yeah, I know. You know that's. Yeah. You need to be able to see it. Whenever you get one this close and he gets off, I always tell myself it was a nice grass carp. Do you want me but to grab is, the net? This is not a grass carp. No. I don't know. This is a walleye. He's decent. Yeah. I'll go get the net. Yeah. I don't really want to reel in, but I will. Wow, what do we got here? For the caliber that it sounds like, I'll reel in. I mean, I haven't even got a glimpse. I know. Hopefully a big walleye. It would be awesome. Oh, here we go. Have you seen it yet? No. It's Ooh, a giant nice walleye. walleye. Nice, nice, nice walleye. It's a big Lake of the Woods eye. Look at that. Coming in, hon. Yes! Aha! All right. Yes. That is, that is, look at the hump on that thing. Shabby. Hey, nice. limber leech walleye. Nice. Tamarack Island, I love it. Little jig jig pop and wow. big, big walleye. Let's take a look at this thing, huh? You got the net? Yeah, that, he, it was a definite thunk on that. That is a beautiful walleye. Lake of the Woods trophy right there. Let's get a gander. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh. How about that fish, folks? Wow. Not too shabby. That was awesome. That was fun. Thank you. That is a beautiful yeah, fish. It is. Nice work. Wow. Couple more of those, Sarah, or no? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the limber leech and why we're using it. So we're using Northland Tackle Limber Leech. It's part of their mimic minnow family. And so match the hatch. You know, you hear that saying over and over when you're fishing, match the hatch. Well, right now it's the mayfly hatch. And to combat that, you have to have something that is going to trigger a bite that's going to be similar to what they're eating, which is the mayflies. So it represents kind of their mayfly larva is why we're using it. Uh, personally, I like it because it comes all together as one in one package. I can show you. So the mimic minnow, so here's a package of what we're using. It comes as one. So all you have to do is tie it on. It's simple. Anybody can use it. Um, it's real easy. Uh, it comes in multiple different sizes. So we've been using one quarter and one eighth. Um, I mean, we're just tying it on. We have braid on our line and then we're tying it on. We have 12 pound fluoro. And the reason we have a little bit heavier fluoro again is that stained water, get away with it a little bit more. And then there's also predator fish uh, such as northerns and muskies that could come in. And so we're trying to keep that more, a little bit of abrasion resistance, a little bit tougher there. But so that's, a, that's the setup. Um, and then the, the limber leech is what's doing the trick. Again, it's mimicking that mayfly larva that's swimming through the water. Oh. Yeah, 
yes, yes. That looks good. Yeah, it's not feeling like a walleye, I'm not gonna lie to you. No. What could it be? Don't really know. Oh, it is an eye. It's a walleye. It's an eyeball. Yeah, cute little sporty model. Yeah, that's That a is nice a perfect one. eater right there, wow. Nice. I tell you what, that wind is blowing. We tucked, tucked behind an, another island here to catch some more fish. They're just fishing everywhere. If you guys look right over my shoulder, see that island? That place with cabins? That's Could Tamarack. be familiar. So this is just goes to show you, we talked in our past episodes about how good of a fishery Lake of the Woods is, but the placement of Tamarack itself is right smack dab in the middle, hon. Can't beat it. Of excellent fishing. It's amazing. It's pretty, pretty impressive. It is. Do we like coming here or no? Special place. Do, we, do you like coming here? I love it. Okay. It's okay. Is that out a little deeper? Oh, right, both sides. Both sides? Uh, oh my gosh. What, what, it's what? a jumbo perch. Is it huge? I'm pretty sure it's a jumbo perch. Get oh the net, get my. the net, get the net. That thing is huge. Look at that beast. Wow. That is a giant. Look at how yellow that thing Tamarack is. Tamarack Island perch, holy cow. <laughs> I was not gonna lose this guy. That's a that's a one three right there. Yeah. Whoa. Everything eats the limber leech. I like it. Holy moly. But how cool is that? Big jumbo perch mixed in with the wallies. I Hit like that. Hit right, boat, right that next is to the boat. That is a really nice perch. Obviously on nice the bottom still. But... Perch. All right, I got him out of the net. Holy cow. <laughs> Ooh. That's a 1-3 right there. That is a sight for sore eyes. I love perch and that is a beautiful. How many stripes are on that thing? Golden perch. One, two, One, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight striped perch. Eight stripes, wow. look at that. That is that is a big perch. That is nice. That is a nice one. All right. Nice work. Thank you. That's a big fish. We got big fish here. Yeah, this is big. I actually thought you had a snag. No, that's what I thought too. This is a real okay, good fish. Coming. They just told me we have to cast off this side of the boat. Yeah, looking at my where electronic, the, reef is. the hump that we're fishing right now is directly behind, home, behind the boat, but the same exact type of thing. It's 12 foot. The fish want to be in 12 foot right now. And we got mayflies drifting over this constantly. This is a real good fish here. A I real wait to see it. big fish. If this is a wally, it's a beast. It's a beast. Look at this. Come on, fish. This is a big fish. Okay. And he be pounded close, right? that leech. Come on, drag. Did not see it yet. No, oh, I know. It's so tough in the stained water. It's got to be close. It's moving all over the joint. Oh, my gosh. What is it? It's a, is that musky or northern? I think it's What are you a, doing? Come on. There you go. I was looking not at it. Not a walleye. <laughs> is that a musky? I can't I haven't I, see it yet. I it think it's definitely a, a musky. musky. Yeah. I was like, are you going to net it? I was what? looking at its identification. Is it oh. a northern or a musky? It's a spot. It's it did not do much. No big Ooh. runs or anything. Yeah, That's why we thought net. it was a walleye, yeah. Not okay. quite the appropriate net. Hey, I got it in there. Grab her and pull her up here. Let's take a look. That is a gorgeous musky. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is awesome. Beautiful fish. That is fun. Walleyes and a big bonus musky here. And the excitement of not knowing what it well, was. Well, yeah. <laughs> Catch it on spinny gear. We'll get her back in there real quick. She's ready to go. Get the net try out to get that out. Okay. You can see right here. We got mayflies everywhere floating by. And that's what these fish are eating in here. Even the muskies are coming up eating the small walleyes that are feeding on the mayflies. So when you hear, you know, the mayflies are hatching, it's notorious a difficult time to catch fish because they're eating mayflies. But if you get a lure that matches the hatch, you can catch a lot of fish during a notorious difficult time. Well, we had an awesome day. You certainly did, yes. We caught we caught a lot of nice fish. We caught a lot of fish. Tyler had the hot hand today. Right. And sometimes <laughs> it happens, and that's okay. Tomorrow you'll have the hot hand. I hope so. That's yeah. the way it goes. It does. But that's the thing about Tamarack Island. Uh, if you like to have a bend in your rod and set the hook on fish. Come here. You come here. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And yeah. We, had a, we had a great time. The limber leech produced really well. It did. It really, uh, it really was able to battle the mayfly hatch, which right. I know is something that you talk about. Uh, people, a lot of people don't want to come up and fish because of the mayfly hatch, but there are definitely things that you can do yep. 
to combat that and still put fish in your right. live well. Exactly. And having the right presentation, something that matches the hatch, and we talked a lot about that. And yeah. a limber leech, obviously it mimics a leech, but it just has that movement that looks like a larva mm -hmm. of a mayfly. And I think that's what really helped us today. It was a good bait. We caught a lot of fish. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We had a lot of fun. It was a good bait. We, we caught some multi-species action here at Tamarack. That's right. We did. I have a really big question that's on my mind. Oh boy. What are we doing tonight after we're done fishing? What are we going to do at Tamarack? Well, we're probably going to head up to the lodge, yep. have a toddy, yep. and Adult uh, beverage, you maybe bet. convince Todd and Paul to for fish, fry us up some of our fish. We should. <laughs> I bet you 100 bucks they'll do it. <laughs> I think that'd be great. Yeah, they're really that'd good. That'd be a good plan. Uh, everybody, we hope you enjoyed this week's show. Tamarack Island Wilderness Lodge is the place to be. Great multi-species lake any time of the year. We had a blast. Absolutely, yes. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week on Sportsman's Journal. If you're looking to experience all that Lake of the Woods has to offer, visit TamarackIslandWildernessLodge.com. Northland is proud to introduce a radical new design in ice fishing spoons that's anything but dead in the water. Welcome to Buckshot Coffin Spoon. The special angled flat sides not only generate its unique action, but also dazzlingly reflect light. Besides its action and flash, a brass rattle and kicker tail fin yield super loud fish attracting cues. Available in four sizes and 12 fish catching colors, there's no better choice. The Buckshot Coffin Spoon just gets the job done.